it's Mara, Virginia Highland Summerfest, hanging out with Bob Schneider on the tour bus. We're on the tour? Whose tour bus is this? I have no idea. Oh. We were not allowed on yours. What? <laughs> really? Why not? I, I'm the I'm the boss. I Are you down there. the key master? Yeah. You let people on your tour bus randomly? Absolutely. Well, not randomly. Okay. But I'd let you guys on there. Is there a time where people try to get on your tour bus, Bob? Well, yeah. Drunk people will try to get on the tour bus occasionally. And we have to dissuade them from taking sales sometimes. Now, how do you handle that? Do you say, you're a drunkard, you're going to need to go away? Well, we have like a 7 foot tall, 320 pound, ex Special Forces Aussie bus driver. Nice. And usually when he asks them politely to leave the vicinity, they do. Even hot girls, they still leave or are they allowed to come on? Hot girls usually get a pass. <laughs> Well, we're so excited you're playing our summer fest today. Um, so what are some of the rituals before you go on? Because we're, we're talking to you, Bob, right before you go on. Do you meditate? Do you breathe deep? Do you... Usually you take a poop. Really? Yeah. And how did that go? What's that? Well, how did it go? I Was haven't it... done it yet. Oh. I'm getting ready to do that here in a minute. And you're hoping for like a clean sweep. It's kind of the best kind, right? I really would love for nothing more than a clean sweep of the colon right before we leave the stage. Unfortunately, the only place to poop here is that porta potty right outside the bus, which <laughs> makes it very, I don't know, I'm very self-conscious, so the Whoa. idea of sitting in that porta potty, like, not five feet from everybody here, it just sounds a little dicey to me. Well, um, I really respect your openness about this, because, I mean, you know, most women don't poop at all. Are you dating anyone now? Uh, I'm not sure. I was dating somebody, but I can't seem to get them on the phone, so. Is that kind of... I assume I'm still dating them, but they just don't want to talk to me. Now, Bob, is that sort of hot to you when you're being blown off? No. It's not hot. It sucks. Is it really? Like it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you going to write a song about it? No. Probably not. Okay. All right. Well, what do you think? I mean, is it a solid relationship that just doesn't seem to be going well? Or? No. It's a rocky relationship that's never going well. And oh, continues to not go well. Is that why you're such a tortured artist? Uh, yeah, for sure. That's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason that the uh, that the romance is so rocky is because I'm broken inside. Do you think so? Yeah, for sure. Well, what are you going to do to repair that? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm like going to therapy. Really? Yeah. How often do you go to therapy? Twice a week. Okay. And is that a cleansing thing, or do you feel like it's just like a little too much? It's a it's a way to like get rid of a lot of money over of a couple of years. I wish you can afford it, right? You're a big star. I wish. Okay. I, wish I, could. I, I mean, obviously I can afford it because I'm spending money. Do you have that therapist come with you on the tour bus? No. Okay. Wouldn't do any so how do you do that? Do you Skype with the therapist? or? No, I just don't see the therapist when I'm on the road. Oh, I see. So now you're going to... I use sexual therapy when I'm on the road. I mean, no. Oh, so I know what you're doing. That's why we weren't allowed to do right? I thought that that was going to be funny, but I realized right after I said it, it was not funny. I took the bait and just went for it. You did? Because that could have yeah. been your pre-show ritual. Oh, the sex? Well. Before, that I, I will tell you this. Sex before a show is even better than a poop before a show. Okay. Because it makes you feel like, wow, I'm the man. And then you'll get up on stage and like, you know, you're like, feel I very, did that. Yeah, you're very confident. Okay. Well, you're pretty confident anyway. Well, I've been doing this for a long time, so. Well, I mean... Your music is great. You have so many fans here at Virginia Highland Summerfest. Do you like playing the festival circuit? I mean, or do or which? Because I know when you come to Atlanta a lot, you do Smith's Soul Bar, and you've done some, some gigs there. If I had my way, I would only play outdoor festivals for the rest of my life. Is that because you love corn dogs? I love corn dogs, but no, that's not the main reason. Uh, I just like playing outside. You know, um, it's not smoky or dingy or gross. It's beautiful. It, the sound's usually really good, and, you know, on a beautiful day like today. I mean, people are excited to see you. Yeah, it's really, it's really fun. Now, are you on the internet? I'm wondering, I'm wondering why I can't get to my girlfriend for I, three days. Oh, my God, you need to let it go. Yeah, I probably do. I mean, seriously, you're Bob Schneider. You're, like, playing big festivals. You're, like, yeah. fancy. Hell, yeah. I mean, she should be, like, dying to be with you. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know how many chicks out there right now which flash you their, their boobs in a minute? I'm not sure what the number is. I would say at least 99. That's plenty. I mean, that's you know, a, That's 180-something boobs. You could have a regular Girls Gone Wild out there. Wait, that's 198 boobs? It's... <laughs> unless, unless there's mastectomies, then who knows. 
the final total density. Do you like to smoke weed before shows? I don't do drugs. At all? No. You're completely sober? Completely sober. And is that because you were having a problem with it, or...? I was. I was drinking too much. Okay. Back in the 90s. Back in the 90s, and now you're... So what do you... What, what, what gives you a lift? Do you drink coffee? Do you smoke cigarettes? You don't smoke cigarettes? Um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I, I'll drink some green tea. Okay. Okay, so you had some ready. No wonder that why. That sounds like, that's like, as soon as I said that, I was like, man, that's like Jimi Hendrix style rock and roll behavior. Well, you know what? These days, you know, people go through a lot of stuff. So if green tea is a good, I mean, it's powerful. It is. I shoot it up. <laughs> so it's, it's more powerful than like the green tea you get at Starbucks. So are you, um, do you Facebook and Twitter and do all that stuff too? I do a little bit. My management tells me. You know, they make you do it. They don't make me do anything, but they uh, they like for me to do that, so I, I do it occasionally. All right. Well, um, so what's your status update going to be today? Um, Bob Schneider is. I don't know. What you, you tell me. I, I actually this is my friend Anya Marina, who's a singer songwriter. Okay. Out of uh, Portland. She always does all my Facebook updates for me because I can never. All right, I wanted to get back to this question I was trying to ask you. What are you listening to right now? What, besides you, you listening to yourself. Uh, I like that Cage the I like two of those Cage the Elephant songs okay. a lot. And uh, I like that song by our good friends, One Eskimo. We just did an event with them, and they were wonderful. They're sweet guys. We were on tour with them for a while, and uh, love those dudes. Have you ever been on tour with someone who is kind of... Not cool? Yeah. Like, if, I can't tell you. Come on, tell me now. No. Please like, don't tell me it's the Dixie Chicks. No, the Dixie Chicks were super cool. Really? Yeah. Did, have you listened to their project, The Courtyard House, with that Natalie? I absolutely have, yeah. I mean, I'm, I live just around the corner from Marty, so um, I actually heard all that stuff before. So, are you guys jamming together lately? Uh, no. No, no jamming? No, the jamming days are long. You're just too cool. No, it's not too cool. It's just like when you're when this is what you do for a living. You're busy, right? Like, yeah, you're not gonna go home and like put on a radio show at home. I hear you. Unless it's my like, show, because I do a pretty good show here in Atlanta. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if somebody's like, "Hey, let's do a mock radio show," I hear you. Later, you'll be like, "Uh, no, I'm not actually, drinking." You know what? I I actually I do things by myself all the time. I just love I love hearing myself. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what separates you and me. When I get on stage, then, yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, that's jam. except that's what is really Everybody. not letting Bob Schneider come to my party. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, this interview's gone really well. It felt pretty good. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like we're, just, we're having that post-sex conversation. Uh, you know what? Like, I it could, was weird because we just met. And, I could be attracted uh, to you. I don't even know what to say. It's or how right. to respond to it. Right. I could be attracted to you. That's horrifying. <laughs> I, I, I could be attracted to you as well. That's just doesn't that sound horrible? No, it really doesn't because this whole interview's been sort of awkward, so it's just par for the course. Really? Yeah. I, I feel pretty good about it. I feel good about it too. I think you're gonna have a good show. I hope so. I think you're gonna have a good show. Alright, I hope I didn't ruin your mojo. <laughs> no, no. It's it's been ruined for so long that there's nothing you can do. <laughs> to our party.